My name is George Howe and I'm the Director of Special Projects and Development at uh, U of L, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have my office in a very special building and let's go take a look. In this room uh, and in this building there are a, a lot of memories that go date back to 1969. I arrived uh, on January, I mean July 1st, 1970 uh, when U of L went in the state system just by coincidence. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to give you an insight into some of the paraphernalia in a chronological sense. Uh, up here you'll see the uh, grand opening of the Red Barn and that ha occurred in the uh, early part of January of 1979. And uh, below it is the program that was at that event. Dr. Miller was here, Harold Adams was at the Master of Ceremonies, Stuart Neff brought the house down with one of his uh, illustrious speeches. Uh, to the right you see the uh, brewmasters who are the Board of Trustees at that time. And uh, below that, you'll see a picture of the early days before we renovated the Red Barn and give you an idea of the, the state of affairs uh, of the Caldwell Tank property that we uh, got from the urban renewal. As we move on, you see a, a great picture, a nice shot of the Red Barn uh, below uh, uh, Churchill Downs. And we used to have Tent City that was run by the Red Barn student activities um, that take care of the hostile people that came from all over the country. And we did that down at Parkway Field. Uh, as we move over, uh, you'll see some uh, <coughs> pictures of predominantly African-American sororities and fraternities. Uh, we've been very supportive of the NPHC effort. They're celebrating their 20th year, and we now have the Divine Nine, which is the first time we've all had all of those predominantly African-American fraternities and sororities on campus at one time. And we're the only one, only st uh, institution in the state of Kentucky to do so, okay? Uh, the picture over here you'll see, and that was a water color that was done in 1989 by uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Hatfield, Gene Hatfield, and his daughter at the time was going to U of L. She was from the great state of Arkansas, and so was her father. And he came up here and painted that, and uh, it hangs in our house. And uh, that was used when they had the second dedication of the Red Barn uh, on December 7, 2007. Uh, here you can see some more pictures of the uh, Delta Sigma Theta sorority. There's one very special plaque uh, here uh, of the uh, Alpha Phi Alpha Golden Appreciation Award to your dear friend George. It's been great to be able to do this uh, <clears throat> session today on the Red Barn and what the Red Barn has meant to so many students and alumni as well and friends of the Red Barn. And uh, this tradition will certainly go on and on without, uh, with or without me. And uh, I look forward to uh, working here as long as possible and uh, appreciate all the uh, help that we've received. We've received so much help from all our students in past and present, providing financial and human resources for those students. And go Cards.